Um, okay, so it's starting to rain again, and as I'm walking, I still have a couple, well, it's like three miles until I get to even, like, the closer gas station. There's another quick trip that's, like, um, kind of on the way. So I was just going to go to that one and see if, because quick trips are open 24 hours, so I thought maybe if I just, you know, at least just went in there and just got something that they'd let me loiter or something, um... I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so emotional. I was just fine. I was thinking, like, I don't mean to have the attitude, like, somebody should pick me up. It's not like that either. I don't mean to be that way. I'm doing this on, <laughs> on purpose. It's supposed to be a struggle, right? So that I can work through these challenges. Um, so I apologize for having such a shitty attitude in the midst of putting myself through this, you know? Um, but, uh, so it's starting to rain again, and I can see that there's a really big storm coming through again. Um, I'm absolutely drenched right now, and it's making it kind of hard to walk in this uh, sandals that I have because they're slippery, and my uh, I kind of jacked my knee up a little bit. So I just, um, well, when it started to drizzle, I decided to come over this way where I saw a whole bunch of semis parked. It's like right next to a... Um, of a factory but these must be all like the excess um trailers and trucks because it's not part of the actual like delivery area um it's outside of the fence and it kind of looks like none of these have been in use for a while and i just lucked out that the first one i walked up to happens to be open um and so i cautiously opened it and asked if anybody was in here and checked and um I just, I just decided that I would just sit in here, which feels, um, kind of weird and crazy. <laughs> um, but it's okay. I mean, at least it's a little bit of a shelter and I don't think anybody's going to find me and so I'm not going to get in trouble, you know? Um, I'm not trying to like be an issue. <laughs> You know, like, that's kind of, I think, the balance that I'm just having a hard time striking because, like, the challenge is I have to remind myself, like, I'm doing this to myself on purpose. But at the same time, like, I'm not trying to cause problems on purpose, you know. Um, I feel nervous because, obviously, this isn't somewhere I'm supposed to be, the fact that it's even open like, I don't, I'm sure it's technically still breaking and entering. I don't know for sure because it wasn't locked at all, but it's not my property. So, like, I don't really want to sleep here or anything, but, um, the storm is just drizzling right now and I could keep walking, but, like, it's literally in the exact direction that I'm trying to walk and I just fear that as soon as I start walking again, it's just going to start pouring. I mean, I don't know. I feel kind of conflicted, but I really just want to, like, rest a little bit. I mean, they're straight up. I'm in the cab of an actual semi. Like, there's a, a bed in here. But it, this isn't mine, and, like, I'm not trying to use it like it's mine. I just, I don't want to take up space. I just... Um, I don't mean to be so emotional. I really miss my dog. I really wish that I could just be in a place safe that's mine, that I don't have to worry about things. I just hope that she's okay. I just, I miss her so much and then I just think about how, like, I've had her her entire life, like, I've had her, she's 14 years old, and I've had her since she was a puppy, and I've, like, barely ever been away from her, and I could, you know, she's a dog, it's not like I can explain to her, even the way you'd explain to a kid, and, like, I just don't want her feeling like, like, she did anything wrong, or, like, I don't love her, because I just miss her so much, and I love her, and I wish I could just hug her and kiss her. I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. Nobody wants to watch a video of me fucking crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is all part of the process. I mean, I don't like showing this stuff. This definitely isn't content that I'm proud of. <laughs> um, but I just, I mean, it's all essential, right? Like, 
I can't just keep this stuff out and act like this is all just some great time. I've done that before out of fear of people like, well, one, I never wanted people to know that I was in need because people take advantage. But like, I don't know. I just, um, yeah, I never put anything out there before. And now I find myself where like, <laughs> all these people know me. And barely anyone knows, like, really what I've been through and what it's like all the time. And, like, okay, so I'm emotional right now, right? I'm pretty sure I'm going to start bleeding for a week <laughs> in a couple of days. So forgive me because this isn't necessarily how um, emotional I tend to be. However, I am yeah, I'm a very sensitive person and a very, like, I mean, I'm an emotional person, but, like, I'm not always such a cry baby. Um, um, and like, you know, I really, I, it's not like I haven't been getting sleep. Um, obviously when you're not sleeping in your own place, in your own bed, in a space that feels like yours, you don't feel comfortable. And like the closest that I had to that was when I was at my parents. Cause I did have my own tiny little space where like, I felt more separated from things, but, like, being around my family constantly, like, is so triggering. And so I couldn't, I mean, I was having nightmares and stuff, and, like, I'm not, I don't know. Last night, actually, I had a really um, intense dream, and, um, and part of it, I mean, there was, like, stuff going on. I guess it was technically a nightmare, but, like, it wasn't, like, phasing me necessarily in till um I mean I was stressed in the dream but like part of the dream I decided that I needed to like just get away and I just wanted to find Maggie and um take her and um when I found her she was injured and it like hurt her for me to pick her up sorry Um, so I guess that's like, I mean, I woke up this morning and just like, I've been feeling emotional about her all day because I can't just talk to her, <laughs> you know, I can't just be there. And I just, <laughs> I truly feel like I need to be doing what I'm doing right now. And like, she's in the safest place that I could have for her. But I still don't, it's not ideal, and I still, like, fear that she's not getting the care that she needs and deserves. Just, like, she just needs to, like, feel like a person, you know? She doesn't need to feel like a human being, but she needs to feel like a person, and I just don't feel like my family can offer that to her, and I just hope that she's happy. I hope that, you know, that the kids are over there and that she's having a nice time, and... <laughs> that she knows that I love her I just hate this shit this is the hardest <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever done honestly like so much so just for that like all of this other stuff like it's just kind of like adding up and that's how I'm why I'm getting so emotional but like it's not like I haven't dealt with these sort of things before no pretty much I mean every other time that I've been homeless I've had a car so I've never actually been homeless in that way it is a lot different, like, sleeping outside and, um, like, walking long distances and, um, sorry, I, I heard something. I'm pretty sure it's just the factory noises I mean there's no lights over here or anything it doesn't seem like there's any buddy over here I don't know my anxiety is super spiked though and like um I do feel under rested you know so like all of those things just, I mean, it definitely, like, there's so much physiological things you experience that really weigh on you, and, uh, 
I don't know if uh, people like I, I find that most people really don't realize how um much those things coincide. You know, like people will be experiencing every symptom, every physical symptom of depression and will still feel like they don't have depression because they haven't come to any mental like understanding of it or like symptoms of it. And, you know, people don't seem to understand like how much our physiological experiences affect us on a deeper level. Um, obviously I'm, I'm well aware of that. Uh, that's what I'm constantly processing, which is what makes these things easier to process. It's not that I don't experience them. Obviously I still feel them. Obviously I'm still going through all of the feelings and the motions, but like, I know how to process this stuff. Feeling it is part of the process, being able to express those feelings and work with them. And, you know, I've learned that it's important to break yourself away and give yourself time at any cost when you're in certain positions because your capacity to be clear of self and confident in self and like capable of self, it just trumps everything else. You know, I mean, you can, you're not going to be able to do what you think you're doing if you're not taking proper care of yourself. It's just how it works. You can be putting your absolute 100% in, but if you're not taking care of yourself, your 100% isn't your best. You know what I mean? And like, you know, that's a, it's not (laughs) easy to give 100% all of the time. I would assume based on my own experiences that it's essentially impossible, but that having that as the consistent goal is the driving force to betterment, you know? Um, And there, I mean, there's some, some rare times that I feel, you know, fucking 300%. So I'm sure in the grand scheme of things, these things balance out. Um, I do feel like they bounce out for everyone in that way, but man, this shit is so soft. I just, um, yeah, I know that was something when it started downpouring, like I had to turn my art bag upside down so that my stuff wasn't getting wet. I haven't looked at it yet and I'm hoping that it didn't really get that wet, but I know that my Hobbit book did a little bit. Um, I think my stuff is okay in the bag, but in my, uh, my, my camping bag, <sighs> but yeah, I mean, I'm soaked. Um, it's not really cold. It's still like in the eighties, I think. Um, it's not really windy aside from like the movement of the air that's like rolling the storm through. I really thought it was going to start downpouring, but it's only been drizzling right now. I just, I still feel like even right now, I can still see the lightning. The storm is moving very slowly. It said that it was only supposed to rain. It was a 56% chance of rain for a short period of time. And it absolutely downpoured for a short time on me. But it also happened two hours sooner than it was projected to. So I just fear that, you know the storm was broken up a little bit more than they assumed and that there'll be another little bit coming through. And I mean, if I'm okay here right now, I just want to be okay here. I try to do things off of my intuition. I am aware that what I'm feeling right now that's making me feel anxious about being here is fear. And I know that that's not the thing I want to give into. There is such a fine line when it comes to deciphering if something's fear or intuition. Um, and it, I definitely have struggled with that in the past, but like, I know what those feelings and tings are at this point. Um, and I'm paying attention to my surroundings at all times. Um, so I don't feel unsafe in that way. I mean, I have my knife on me and stuff, but like, I also lost my, one of my knives, two of my knives. I have multiple weapons, but doesn't make it any better I don't you know I don't know I don't know I just uh (sighs) 
a big part of what I processed today was, yeah, or what I've not even just, I haven't even, there's no processing the raw emotions of just missing my dog. And, you know, I mean, I already processed like that this was what needed to be done. So I already did it. It's just part of how, of, you know, the greater process that I experienced missing her. But like, I just hope she's okay. I hope I can see her again really soon and that we can have a home and that I can just take care of her like she deserves. And that's, but that's what it is. I mean, I can't even, I mean, I can take care of myself and proving that I can take care of myself, right? I don't want to have to just rely on friends and sleep on couches. That's not what I'm trying to do. The places that I've stayed, I've tried to be of help too. Like, okay, well, while I'm in your space, let me take on different things so that you can have just a bit of space to just rejuvenate and be okay. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. But it also feels in part like people just, um, they, uh, they don't, um, I don't know if it's just that, like, that they want more than what I'm really willing to offer or that they want something different or that I'm like not fully expressing what it is that I'm actively doing well enough. Um, I don't know. I definitely had a lot to process today um, after staying at my friend's house because she's friends with my family and it uh, there was just a lot of different things that it gave me to think about. Um I can't say I've been triggered. I think every day I'm learning how to handle myself significantly better emotionally, which is huge. Huge. I mean, anybody that's known me in the past can would probably vouch to say that I have I tend to be pretty given to my emotions. So to be able to be in control of that is um, definitely progress. And I don't want to invalidate that in any way. Um, I'm proud of myself for that. But it's also kind of a strange position to be in because I'm so used to, like, you know, obviously falling back into those toxic coping behaviors. And so learning how to process things in a healthy fashion and how to move forward and about things, like, all of that is very new. And, um, I mean, I've been even trying to do that for a while, but I was falling back on just me communicating how vulnerable I am about being toxic like that was the best I had to offer now I've actually done enough of the healing work that I I'm not it's not that I'm not toxic in some ways but I'm definitely I used to I was considerably toxic like my personality in of itself had some pretty significant fundamental toxic traits that I have worked out now even just within the last like month um even within the last couple of weeks being out and um, yeah. So this is all weirdly new. I mean, it's been a long time coming, so it doesn't necessarily feel fresh, but it is new. Um, 